Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Don't think this is over, Roderick! The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. <laughs> I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... And you threw him clear off the wall. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now... You've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, this was an accident. I didn't mean for him to die. <laughs> didn't mean it. Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. That's impossible! Finn can't stand me! Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone! Enough! Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go! 
I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Crossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. But there's no coming back from this. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrod. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my time. Are you calling me a liar? You know nothing about me. You're right. I don't know you. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. It's all right. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, sir. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. He won't bite. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Then you were wise to keep your distance. You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. Will that be a problem? I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. He wouldn't harm anyone. Not unless he was attacked. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. 
to what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? With your permission, I want to hire a contingent of the Second Sons. I need them to help me fight for my family back in Westeros. The Second Sons? Has your reason failed you? Please, if I you... also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. I would only need a few men. Those who follow Croft could come with me. The rest are yours. They are all mine. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. But that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. We're not just cell swords. We're the best damn cell swords in Slaver's Bay. <laughs> I know a few who might disagree with you. Is boasting aside, they were two of my best fighters. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She can help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Asha, please. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. What the fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Beske. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It 
sounds like you'd prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. No. But Griff will see that you pay for what you did. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Roderick! Let's try it again. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia? Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We're to be married. You'll be calling I and Rath home soon. Yes, well, um... That's why I came, actually. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Elena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind, and so have I. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours, if you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. White he'll still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I would be happy to. 
Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helene. I love you too. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention wouldn't put it Cersei past her. and Jamie. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud White Hill. Lud White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Expected. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. This might help.
That might be useful. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Just sand. Probably covered with fleas. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. I owe you for this. If we make it out alive, I... Well, now that you mention it... What? I want to go with you, Garrett. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. Garrett, what are you doing? I'm getting out of here. It's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think... You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it? Finn, it's not safe to be seen with us. Then good thing I brought this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with Potato Fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Admit it. You're not coming with us, Finn. I'm asking Garrett. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move!
There's no turning back now. We're deserters, for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Or worse. I didn't mean for it to come to this. The vows I took here. I meant them. And someday I'll come back to one of them. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. He's gonna see what happens when you harm a member of my family. And mine. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. Obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore? What are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me! I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? She'll never marry you, Griff. She'll do what she's told. And so will he when I'm through with him. You should have set a better example. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. <coughs> I've let you off too fucking easily, Roderick. What the hell? 
hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Come on, defend your lord. Kill anyone that moves. You heard him. Stop now. You can't do this. Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me. Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your own fucking family. Let go of me. I did warn you, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! <laughs> Is that it? Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. I think he wants more. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? You need to stop. My eye! Roderick, listen to you me! Fucking! My eye! Roderick! Oh, you fuck! I, right I now. I... No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting Ryan. When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. Lord Vital doesn't have to find out. You can only keep this a secret for so long. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Least I could do. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the Ravens. All of them. <laughs>